Hi there. So recently we've just had the new moon over the weekend and I took the opportunity while the skies were nice and dark to go out and do some astrophotography. Now, uh, on one night I just spent some time in the backyard. On another night I actually went on an outing and went a little way from home to where the skies were nice and dark and shot some images and I just thought I'd share the results and some of the best images that I've got uh, from those two outings for you to enjoy. So first up we've got a shot of basically the main part of the Milky Way. Uh, this was shot at my dark sky location using my D3400 and I think it was set on ISO 6400 uh, with a exposure time of around uh, 10 to 15 seconds. So, next up, uh, we've got a shot of the southern part of the Milky Way. Uh, you can just see the two leaders there, or the two pointers, uh, not far from the Southern Cross at the bottom of the screen there. Next up, we have the coal sack, pretty much centre screen, with the Southern Cross just to the right of it there. And next up we have another shot of the Milky Way, uh, just to the southern side of the middle of it. And you can see there's uh, some nebulae and clusters there that are showing a little bit of colour. Another shot again uh, of the same sort of scene with that uh, nebulae and cluster, star cluster area there in the middle. Another one of the coal sac and the Southern Cross. And here we have the small Magellanic cloud shot from my dark sky location. So next up we have another one of the middle of the Milky Way. Just showing uh, some more detail than uh, I normally have seen. You can see some colour there as well in those dark clouds. Uh, yet another shot of the coal sac and... The Southern Cross and the Leaders, and just that part of the Milky Way. Uh, another shot of the Milky Way. And the next one is a shot of the Milky Way from my backyard, just with some trees in shot, just to give some perspective. And the next one is... Another shot of the Milky Way with uh, some trees in the foreground. Just showing a bit of artistic license, I guess. And another one. This is towards the north with some trees in the, in the foreground. And lastly, here are the Magellanic Clouds. Uh, we have the small Magellanic Cloud up in the top left hand corner and the large one down in the right hand corner with the power lines actually going in front of it and just looking at the large Magellanic cloud there you can see some detail starting to come out and I'm thinking in the future I really want to concentrate on that and get a few good images of that under dark skies so I hope you found this video interesting maybe a little bit informative and I hope you enjoyed it have a great day. I'll catch you later.